when I completed my PUC in 1973 June, I asked my uncle, who was a priest, whether I could join the priesthood. Definitely when I consulted my father and mother, my father was not very happy. He wanted to see me as a doctor because my grandfather was a village doctor and my father himself, while being a teacher of the school, he was also practicing as a village doctor. But my mother wanted me to become a priest. That's always a blessing to have a priest in a family and prayed for me so that I become a priest. And so finally, after consulting my uncle, I decided uh, to become a priest. When I was finishing my PUC in St. Joseph's College, Tichnapalli, I happened to meet one of the Belgian fathers, Father Pilet, who had come there from Calcutta. And while interacting with him, you know, he invited me. Why don't you come to Calcutta? So that's how I responded. And I came to Calcutta and joined the Jesuits in Calcutta province. Yes, there is definitely, you know, the sadness of separation. But I was happy that I was going to become a priest. I have my brother, I have my sisters, but I belong to my house, my family is the Society of Jesus and my province. I am in the society almost 34 years, but uh, out of which I have worked with Father Felix uh, 18 years at St. Javier's College. As I said, I joined 2000 August, now 2018 August. So 18 years I have worked with him. Uh, it was very pleasant to work with him. We could uh, speak to him, we could share our ideas. He was a great, he is a great listener, he listens to people. Uh, he gives importance to each and every person and takes people's idea. Of course, he is a great visionary and he has got a lot of plans, but at the same time, he would always consult people. He decentralized everything. You don't need to go for everything to the principal. There are ways you can solve the problem. So that way, power is not in one person, it is, with, it is shared. At the same time, I found him, he was able to kind of blend it's academics and administration. He is a great visionary. We have seen him after he has taken over as the principal of the college and the president of the alumni. One after the another, things happened. And father always say, if it is God's work, it is going to happen. 
this time college uh, was upgraded into a college of excellence and college was also given status of heritage college and back aggregated St. Javier's with the highest score of 3.77 in the scale of 4. That time it was the highest score by any colleges in India. And that way, you know, he set a standard. Infrastructurally, the college was expanded. So many new facilities were introduced uh, in college. Classrooms uh, facilities were uh, improved. The teaching learning methods, uh, new methods were introduced. A lot of emphasis was given teaching, learning, research, and uh, consultancy. And uh, our uh, the dream of starting a rural campus was realized in this time. The Ragapur campus, St. Javier's College Ragapur campus, is the greatest contribution uh, by St. Javier's College to the rural area of South 24 Parkanas that is doing uh, very well. And our college, our campus at Ragapur has changed the landmark of the uh, place. That's also done by uh, Father Felix Raj. And um, even the shifting of uh, Yema Marsi, the new place, also done by him. Twin hostels, big hostels in AJC Bose Road. The old hostel was broken to give space to two new hostels. started in 2006. So he asked the students whether they could sacrifice one rupee per day. And that's how it began. College to village and village to college. With this whole one rupee idea of one rupee. So when it started, we had only two villages. Today, Prayas adopted villages uh, are about 12 of them. And uh, I think thousands of children uh, over these years have benefited. And not only children, our students, the college students who were involved. So he said that if colleges, if students, if villages cannot come to college, then college should go to the village. And with that idea, the whole Raghavpur campus came up. And today, if you see, there are 90%, definitely between 85 and 90% girls studying in that college. And many of them are those children who grew up when we saw them those days in 2006, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> Yeah, I spent here two years uh, when I did my plus two. So it was not that you are seeing today. Uh, many things have changed uh, since then. So I think it's a great in initiative by JSV priests. So, ekane college ta jodi na hoto, thahe to amader pora shujo ki thakto na. So, ekane hoye onik amader moto meider pora shona onik kisu shujo peyesi. Villages are the temples of prosperity. Schools and colleges are the temples of wisdom. And so when temples of prosperity and temples of wisdom come together, you see what a revolution takes place. This is what I am expecting, I want, that it happens in every school, every college, every university. That if this interaction between villages and colleges and universities take place, be a great revolution in the educational field. And I want to promote this idea in our country.
I have been working with him for more than 34 years. He was my vice principal, he was my principal and now he is my vice chancellor. Very frankly speaking, he is a person with vision and he thinks not only in the sense of day-to-day -day operation but also that long-term thinking process and that is one of the very very important quality to provide leadership and we can say what my experience with Father Felix Raj that he is a very good captain of the team. The journey began about four or five years ago when the Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, visited St. Xavier's College as the chief guest for the college's convocation. In her speech, she invited us to upgrade St. Xavier's College as a university or to start a university by ourselves. And so we responded to her invitation. And the dream fulfilled last year, 2017, July 7th, we had the inauguration of the, the university, St. Xavier's University, Kolkata. That was the brainchild of Father Felix Raj, along with other Jesuits. The dream has been fulfilled and like we always say, St. Javier School gave birth to St. Javier's College. Now St. Javier's College uh, has given birth to St. Javier's University, Kolkata. The government has been very kind to us to give us 17 acres of land for St. Javier's University, Kolkata. When things came closer, father worked so hard, you know, he forgot his own health. And then we realized, and he himself realized that he has really pulled himself or rather stretched himself a bit too much. And that's when uh, he fell ill. We all know he was uh, for a year. But even, uh, even when he was sick, he, he would never say that I'm sick. He would never complain that I'm in pain, never. It is we who saw and we told him that, you know, you need to rest or you need to take care, you need to take good food, you need to go to the doctor and things like that. So that was him. And today we can see that, you know, and uh, he's back. One way of my relaxation is to plan, think aloud, uh, to dream. What can I do in the next five years? What can I do in the next 10 years? How I can contribute? Uh, how I can find new ways of doing things? Secondly, I like writing articles and papers. I also like reading. I also like to meet people, I like to talk to them, I like to share my ideas and I want to listen to people and I want to get their new ideas. You see, when two minds come together, your idea gets enriched.
will say that success has thousand parents and failure is an orphan if there is something caused by the mistake of someone else he doesn't blame the person he says okay it was our mistake it was our failure next time we will do it right we will do it properly he never identifies a person and blames the person he takes responsibility just as a leader I am not really working for award that people will appreciate me people will give me award no that is not my intention as a jesuit my intention is let me continue to do good work for people if more people benefit from my service i shall be very very happy and that would be my fulfillment because i want to work for god We meet very regularly, once in a year. Sometimes in a year we come here for his birthday or celebration or whatever it is. But normally, once in a year we meet. His career as a priest and as an educationist. Now after seeing all these things, we are very happy that he has been doing wonders in the field of education for West Bengal people and the Jesuit community. So what I say, His contribution has blessed our family. This is a gift of my mother, who gave birth to this son, an eminent man. Now we are all hundred percent happy about his care. Today we have about sixty-six Jesuit colleges. affiliated to different universities in india we have two jesuit universities one in bhubaneswar and one now in kolkata jesuit contribution to education in india has been recognized by many people dr abdul kalam who was the president of india was an old student of the jesuits and he acknowledged the great contribution the jesuits have done to the field of education we are about let us say 4500 jesuits in india there are many young people who are joining us i must thank the alumni association for accompanying me during this journey many of them individuals as well as the alumni association stood with me we collected a lot of funds from the alumni many came forward to help us in this new venture of starting a st xavier's university we had a plan of 2020 Now I am rewriting it as Vision 2025. We could even call it Vision 2030, because we must have a very perspective plan. This is our vision. We will have to offer management development programs. We also have to have an impact on the neighborhood, that is the villages that are around us. they must feel the influence and impact of an institution that has come up and this is a jesuit institution a university and so the quality of education of these village children 
the village youth must improve. And so we are going to start courses, skilled based diploma courses, certificate courses for these youth of the villages and the children of the villages. And we also plan to have exchange programs with many universities, both universities within the country and also outside the country. First sports day of St. Xavier's University, Kolkata, to extend a very warm welcome. Personally, wish Father Felix all success in building the St. Xavier's University, Kolkata, a major landmark in the education map of our country. Father is doing his best, and we are here. We are here together to support him to bring up the university and make it one of the best in India and also in the world. In Jesuit term, we call it contemplative inaction. That means we not only pray, we also work. A person who has integrated both, both a prayer and action, can do, can bring together the vision and mission. Here is a person, very integrated person. 